Hello and welcome to this video. It's another issue of my Real Cylinder Exploration series and it's dedicated to BKS. BKS is a German lock company that was founded in 1903 by two gentlemen named Adolf Boge and Fritz Kasten in the German city Solingen. Later on in 1927 they were bought by the US company Yale and Town and they also bought some other companies and combined them together to one big company named BKS in the German city Felbert. And I think the name BKS comes from, from the original founders Adolf Boge and Fritz Kasten and the original uh, city Solingen. So that's I think why, why they are called uh, BKS now. Again later in 1983 um, BKS again became a German company and it's now part of the Gretsch Unitas group. Um, GU is the abbreviation. Um, but I still make locks uh, and it's a German company located in Felbert. And Felbert is actually uh, the home of uh, two other uh, well known uh, lock companies. And here I have a, a map from, from Germany. Uh, for your orientation, here is Munich, that's about where I live, and here is uh, Dortmund and Frankfurt, and here we have Felbert, and you can see BKS has its headquarter there, CES and uh, Wilka. Alright, so now back to, to this particular lock. Um, it's just a regular 5-pin pin tumbler with a Yale style uh, keyway. But this particular lock has a, a really really good bidding as you can see. Um, long key pin at, at, uh, at 3, short key pin at uh, 4, so very good protection here. Um, I've already picked and gutted one side and I've reassembled uh, this side with uh, one uh, with one stack so that I can uh, demonstrate the, the cam mechanism to you. So uh, let me see, this is the the fully um, populated side and this is the side with with only one pin and of course you can stick in the key and the cam turns and if you remove the key and insert it on the other side um, also the cam moves. So now if you have the key um, in the upright position, so just stick in, not turned, and if you take another key, you can see, if you do it right, that you can move it out. So let's close a look. You can see it moves out a little bit. And yeah, that's the only um, smart thing on, on this cam, because um, if you have if you have turned the key, you have no chance to uh, get into this uh, lock. You cannot you cannot turn the cam. And how this works, um, I will show you uh, just in a moment when I have uh, removed the clip, and uh, yeah, then I will be back and show you the uh, inside. Uh, yeah, elements. All right, uh, clip is gone, and I just pull out the side where I have only one pin stack. And here are the inerts, the inside parts. We have the plug, um, and the plug has three. Uh, three cutouts and in the plug goes this um, uh, the spacer I say it and we have this little uh, piece with three uh, noses and yeah left and right are the same and uh, yeah, can be turned as you can see and these three noses go to the three cutouts in the plug like uh, like so Maybe 
it's hard to see through the camera like so and now uh, if I have something to point now you have to imagine the cam if we can have a look inside the cam also has uh, three cutouts Well, you can see that. I think you can make this out. So the cam has also three cutouts. And if no key is inserted, um, the cam is maybe connected uh, to, to this element. But we are concentrating um, our attention to, to this plug. So um, when I now insert the key, you can see that it moves out the the, um, the spacer, and the spacer uh, moves the this uh, this other turning element. And now there's a little a little space left for the um, for the cam. So now the cam would be located here, of course, and the three noses of this uh, this little piece here uh, go in the grooves of the of the cam and when you turn the plug um, also the uh, the cam turns and of course get it in again if you now um, stick in the key from the other side you can move out the the first key but if the plug is is turned the the key cannot go out because of the pins and so it's uh, yeah, it's blocked. And this uh, this simple mechanism just ensures that you can turn uh, one plug uh, and also move or take along the cam, while the other plug and it's uh, like my fingers uh, stays in place. But you cannot uh, turn both uh, plugs at the same time like uh, at the other models that I showed you before. So I think this is the standard mechanism for, uh, for cams. You can operate it from one time, uh, from one side at a time, but not from both sides uh, at the same time. Okay, so now let's go to picking. Okay, clamped up in a vise. Again, that's the key. Works and is locked up. Apply tension from the pin side and I turn it uh, clockwise and use this sparrow's hook to pick it. All right, so medium to, to heavy tension and I go in at an angle and turn the pick around to push down the pin. I'm on five now. And now I'm on four, three. I think they're all set a little bit, so they are not at their own initial height anymore. That's why I have now enough room for my pick to navigate uh, straight in the keyway. But no false set yet, so only working on 5, 4 and 3 because these are the standard pins. tension a little bit. Maybe it helps to to get the pins set to the shear line. Yep. Here we are, got a four set. And okay now all pins are where they have to be. Alright now the challenge is to pick the spools one and two. Check one first. Okay, could set it, hopefully, but something dropped. Check what it was, what it is. Okay, 
was 5 or 4. Now I have to set number 2. And it's open. Yep. Wow, that was the quickest opening so far. Oh, all right, let's get it. Turn it 180 degree and I can show you something new that I have. Look at that. Isn't that a cool looking pretty pinning shoe? And it's quite useful because um, it's very thin here at this part. It's almost like a, like a wire and so it fits in many more different uh, restricted keyways. So if you don't have enough uh, space here at the open side, the the other pinning shoe that I used to have here, that one is sometimes too tall, and so this this is very handy. All right. So now let me pull out the plug. Okay, we have standard uh, key pins 1, 2, 5, and we have standard drivers in 3, 4, and 5, and two spools at 1 and 2. We have nice looking uh, copper uh, springs, and it looks like that this is a uh, steel pin. Let's check with a magnet. Yep, it's steel. I think this serves as drill protection. Nothing uh, too special. But I think the, the challenge in this lock is the precision and of course the bidding. This, uh, this number uh, 4 stack is very nicely protecting uh, the last pin. So, yeah, that was the, the BKS. Thank you very much for watching and happy picking. Bye-bye.